Salam aleikum, maleikum salam. Piango, piango, derechito por Guadarraya. Now, if you can see, we are adding up another symbol for this patipemba. And this is the enyoka, as you can see here, or the snake. The enyoka is the slave of the Mayombero priest. And it's by the force and the energy that is converted from this snake or enyoka that the Mayombero priest is able to accomplish his goal. And you can take a look at it that this enyoka is rising up from bottom to top. Actually, this enyoka is entangled itself or is wrapping up her body through the, this branch of a tree. And it's very funny because you could see, like we discussed before, the entangle on top. Then you see the ensasa, the arrow, who is pulling down, dragging down the energy. And what energy? The energy that we discussed before of these two branches or these two cross that are intersecting each other. They are not working side by side. They are creating some kind of a conflict into this Pati Pemba. And actually that's what create this battle. And the Enyoka, the spirit of the dead, the slave, is holding up, wrapping up all this energy. And not only, as we say, this symbol that they are intercepting each other, which could be transcribed as Embataya, but also the elders recognize this as the four cardinal points of earth. That's what it say, cuatro viento, the four winds. So actually what the elders are saying is that at a certain point when the enyoka is rising up, right at the center of the four cardinal point of earth, this is where it's going to break lose this kind of a battle that is the energy is going to be oriented by two powerful uh, symbol one is the enyoka or the snake and the other one the snake is dragging down the energy the power from the sun now we could see how by adding up more symbol this name is growing up this symbol is getting more meaning, more messages. This time, we draw a symbol which represents an uphill, what is in Spanish, loma, or hillock. And it's very important to follow step by step so we will not be misleading by the information. Because there are many people, if they don't know how to transcribe these Congo terms in a chronological order, you could affect the symbol or the Pati Pemba. And then if you are doing it for an spell, you might draw it with a certain purpose. But when you are transcribing from the Congo name into the symbol since you didn't use a chronological order 
the symbol itself can be changed and maybe you could fail on your spell so keep that on mind please this time we draw like I said like the symbol like a mountain like uphill hillock and what are we saying remember we discussed before that the snake the ñoca the slave of the Mayombero priest it was rising up from the very bottom up to the top trying to reach the energy of the sun so by by a way that we draw this uphill symbol we are saying that the secret that the power from this enyoka is coming on it's coming out basically from the very bottom of the uphill and how the enyoka is able to accomplish that as you can see we already discussed that this patipemba or spirit magical symbol the energy that is going across to the symbol is an energy that have only the purpose just to fight so we are saying that the snake symbol make its way out from the uphill or hillock by force and its tail from the enyoka the enyoka or the snake is dragging out pulling out with herself all the energy that the enyoka needs to be a stronger and to be able to control this patipemba as it will that's why when we say rompe we are saying rompeloma that the snake is breaking through up the hill is breaking up is making in another way his way out to get its own desire what desire we already discussed what the mayombero priest is commanding her is ordering her so it's very important to see how the Pati Pemba is being controlled by the snake. Now, 